I don't want to stop for too long. I'm just at the local gas station. Um, so many people seem to think that uh, grass-fed beef is the solution to like the obesity epidemic and you know global uh, climate change. There, there's this guy Alan Savory, dude. Oh, I cannot like tolerate this guy. You know, he just because he just makes people believe what he's saying. He doesn't. Even, he talks and he doesn't even really say anything. And then he's like, getting grass-fed beef is the solution. And you know, I think he's with the Weston A. Price Foundation, which is like this whole like secretive um, nutritional like environmental organization that's actually like run by um, the beef industry like Weston A. Price was like a big cattle rancher and uh, like Weston A. Price is still going strong in the media dude it's crazy like unbelievable how they can get away with um, people thinking that it's like this ethical like charitable organization and you actually like go and look it up and instead of people actually like critically thinking and like asking questions they'll just look at the Weston A. Price Foundation uh, or they won't even look at it and if you look it up and find out what it is you're like oh this is totally crooked you know and so this Alan Savory guy he's like grass fed beef can save the world and I'm talking to my buddy on Facebook today uh, he said uh, he's always full of good thoughts he said um, if yeah, look at how bad we're treating uh, war refugees right now. Um, imagine how bad climate change refugees are going to be treated. And I, I said to him, well, I think they are climate change refugees over there, uh, you know, in the Middle East. And um, arms getting tired. And he was like, yeah, probably. I was like, yeah, they, they are, you know, climate change refugees because the place is just turning into a desert. And... Uh, you know, like they like to eat a lot of goat over there and shit like that. And the animals, because the animals, the grazing animals are the cause of deforestation. Okay, and that that's the reason why deforestation exists. Is not cornfields. I mean, yeah, bananas and stuff. Yeah, I, I they you know you have to chop down trees at one point, but you're planting trees. You know, so the the root the main central biggest as well as just like most problematic and most, yeah the central cause of deforestation and, and uh, just land degradation is not even like grain agriculture it's grass-fed animals so, uh, you know and then this guy I can just imagine like what if this Alan Savory diet came over to the Middle East and they were like oh you know let's do the low-carb solution let's be hunters you know let's base our diet the war would be over. There would be no more people there. I think like 3% of the land in uh, Iran or Iraq or Syria, Syria I think it is, 3% of that land is, is arable. And it's, uh, it's like hard to manage too. Like it's expensive and they're just using up the water and there's like no fucking water over there, man. And the crops are all like shit. Like crops are dying and farmers are just like, fucked like it, it's a apocalyptic situation over there it's not just people fighting it's the environment and that's the cause of it that's the fucking reason for it and this alan savory fucking cattle rancher you know just like slaughterhouse murderer with uh who do, doesn't care about anybody but the bottom line of his fucking beef business the weston a fucking crooked price dickwad foundation fuck you alan savory uh, for being dishonest like if, if the guy was like sincere but sincerely wrong I wouldn't be this mean but like the guy knows what he's doing or he just doesn't care you know and he's like I, I'll, whatever like I'm just gonna ignore everything and I'm gonna lie to people and, and so like yeah bad person definitely um, uh, anyway the, the, the yeah if his diet went over there the war would be over man there would be no people left like what's left of the land would just be grazed by cattle. So we gotta, if, if we want a chance of fucking humans like occupying that land and like this huge like fucking refugee situation to just go completely out of control, uh, it's, you know, it already is. Like in the next couple of years, we can either like stop it. We can stop it right now if we start like doing the right thing. It, but it's still like, it takes like 20 fucking years for the, yeah, at least for, um, 
water for land to be restored back to like a healthy state and like for water the water cycle to begin to like be restored and the answer is fruit and vegetables um and people you know but you need but but who cares about the butts like but nothing man you, like this is what we have to do so like why are you fucking arguing against it like the the, the answer is right in front of your eyes and you just gotta like switch it on and fucking start talking about it like start the conversation and like just yeah i mean i it, it's okay to be a little intolerant like to be a little bit pissed off about like the way things are and just uh, like all the pointless shit that we do that it yeah so anyway the, the answer is right there we just got to talk about it we got to come together and realize like this is what we have to do and we got to tell people like alan savory to fuck off peace